What is up, YouTube? Mr. Magman coming at you guys today with an overly energetic and slightly pathetic intro. Alright, let's get into this. Um, sorry. Okay, sorry. I apologize for not posting a video in the past week. I've had a lot going on uh, that you guys probably don't want to know about. Um, and I, I haven't been feeling good as well. So, uh, who cares though? Who Who cares? Without further ado, let's get into the trick. So first I'm going to teach you guys, uh, first I'm going to show you what it looks like, then I'm going to teach you how to do it for yourself. So first, I want you to pick any card you want out of, uh, out of this pile of cards, yeah? Right here, sure, positive, absolutely sure, no pressure, no pressure. It's not like I needed you to pick a certain card or anything. I'm not going to look at your guys' card. But we're going to put it like here in the middle. Most people don't believe me when I say we're putting it into the middle. So I want you to actually see it's in the middle. Okay. Uh, didn't really need to show that any more than I did. But it's in the middle. Okay. And now we're going to body slam the cards. Boom. Perfect. Alright. So check this out. Your card, somewhere in here, right there. Look at that. This card actually changed colors, if you can, if you can believe that, right? Do I have to show you? Because I, I really don't want to show you. God, I have to show you. Okay, was that your card? Four clubs. Hopefully it was. Uh, it'd be cool if it was. But we're gonna, we're gonna sit the four clubs right there. Because I want you to make sure I'm not using any uh, pink cards. Like, I, I just seriously turned it pink using my uh, my whole, like, card powers or whatever. Um, but now, we're going to do the same thing. But first, you know, check it out. No pink cards. Okay. I can just change the color of the ink on the back on my own. I'm just awesome like that. So, uh, tell me when to stop. Like, close to the middle somewhere. Right there. Are you absolutely positive? Okay. Well, that's going to be your card. And I'm not going to look at it once again, but you can. That's going to be your card. And we're going to just put it in the middle anywhere. Like right here. Okay. It is in the middle, as you guys can see. Don't know how I could show you any better. But that's in the middle. And now I can shuffle. And I have to do another overly dramatic cut. But once I do that, you'll see your card. Change colors again. Change colors again. Ah. Why must this happen to me? You know what? You remember that first card you picked? It was, uh, what was it? I don't even remember, uh, the four, four clubs, yeah? Um, I told you we were going to turn the next card you ter uh, pick into a pink card. I wasn't lying, okay? Because this four clubs, check this out. That's the four clubs now. Check it out. Oh, no, not the four clubs, sorry. That is a five of spades now. The second card that you picked. <laughs> wow, that was a mess up at the end but anyway if you want to learn how that trick is done don't forget to stick around for the tutorial what's up guys for this trick um it's mostly impromptu but you are going to need two things two things and that is one a blue card any blue card from your deck if you're using blue it, it doesn't matter what the color is but any card uh from your deck that you choose and a card to match it from a different colored deck. All right, they have to be identical in the front and different colors on the back. And you're gonna put this one right here on the bottom, and you're gonna put this one on the top, and you'll see why in a minute. Now you can do a few uh, false cuts if you want. Uh, just make sure that this is still on the bottom and this is still on top. And once you do that, you're just going to uh, you're just gonna ask them pick any card they want. Hopefully, 
they won't pick the top one. But if they do, uh, there's always a backup plan for that. Um, if they pick the top card, which is the five of spades, then all you have to do is put that back and go to the pink card and reveal reveal the pink card. Um, but if they don't, then you can add in the extra stuff, okay? So let's say they pick this one right here. Ooh, Queen of Diamonds, cool card. Um, what you're going to do is just cut the cards anywhere and catch a pinky break right here. So now you got the pink five of spades here. And you've got the five of spades from the top here. So you do that, you catch a pinky break. They put their card in, okay? And you just smush it back on top. You can do any false cuts. Uh, you can do anything you want. I mean, if you're really careful, you could riffle, but that I, I, I don't suggest doing that. I just suggest doing a few fake cuts and uh, just try to keep the cards out of the hands of your spectators. So once you do that, you're uh, you're gonna just look through, and you'll see. All right, right there. Once you get to that pink card, you know that there's the pink five of spades. There's their card, and then there's the five of spades, right there. But what you do is you take this uh, and you do a double lift so that you lift up the queen and the five of spades as one card. So it should look like this. You can either riffle up, which is what I prefer to do. Um, you could do the like a thumb riffle uh, or you could do a like a double push off type deal where you just push two cards off. Um, but the safest way is just to riffle up. So you, you take what they think is their card that's changed into a pink card and you do a double lift, right? And then you just put that card back on top and set it right here. So now they think this is the Queen of Diamonds, but at the same time they're still kind of confused on like how you do that. So you uh, you take these cards, you don't really need these, but now you have their card and the Five of Spades right here. So all you have to do is just put this on top like that and do a cut, but steal this card. Steal the Five of Spades right there. So in action it would look something like this. So now the five of spades is on top and their cards on the bottom. You don't want them to see their card, so just be careful about that. Um, so now you're just going to do a cut and put your pinky break again. And you're going to say, tell me when to stop. And you could force it like that. Or what I like to do sometimes if it's like not a picky audience, like if, if the spectators aren't picky, you can control their card to the bottom with a double undercut or whatever you'd like to do. Out jog it a little bit like that, ask them to touch the back of the card, say they touch this one, and you're just going to pull that card off with the card that they touched, and then just square it up, and they still get the card you want them to get. Uh, it doesn't matter, you're just going to force that card, and you've already had the five of spades sitting here for quite a while now, but you're going to force that card, then just put it back in anywhere, I'm just going to, well, it doesn't matter, I'll just put it in, and, uh, all you have to do from here is just show all the cards are still blue. At this point, they think you messed up. Uh, I did it earlier today, and my friends actually started laughing. They thought that I had ruined the trick somehow, or that they had uh, that they had busted me. But really, the card that they... I, I mean, I handed it to them. I told them to sandwich it. The card that they were holding, which they thought was the first card they picked, is actually the card you forced. So it just really blows their mind that it's a color change slash teleportation trick uh, two in one.